We also talk about CP in terms of severity. For gross motor skills of children and young people with cerebral palsy can be categorized into five different levels. Using a tool called the Gross Motor Function Classification System, GMFCS. It sounds tricky, but in reality, it's just a categorization system that looks at movements such as sitting, walking, and use of mobility devices. There are five levels in the GMFCS. Usually, GMFCS levels are pretty stable over time, but occasionally, especially in early childhood, the predicted mobility level might not be accurate and therefore may change over time. At level one, people walk at home, school, outdoors and in the community. They can climb stairs without the use of a railing. People perform gross motor skills such as running and jumping, but speed, balance and coordination are limited. My CP is classified as level one. At level two, people walk in most settings and climb stairs holding onto a railing. They may experience difficulty walking long distances and balancing on uneven terrain, inclines and in crowded areas or confined spaces. People may walk with physical assistance, a handheld mobility device, or use wheeled mobility over long distances. People have only minimal ability to perform gross motor skills, such as running and jumping. My cerebral palsy is classified at level two. At level three, People walk using a handheld mobility device in most indoor settings. They may climb stairs holding onto a railing with supervision or assistance. People use wheeled mobility for traveling long distances and may self-propel for short distances. At level four, people use methods of mobility that require physical assistance or powered mobility in most settings. They may walk for short distances at home with physical assistance or use powered mobility or a body support walker with assistance. At school, outdoors and in the community, people are transported in a manual wheelchair or use powered mobility. At level five, People are transported in a manual wheelchair in all settings. People are limited in their ability to maintain anti-gravity head and trunk postures and control leg and arm movements. When Juby was first diagnosed with CP, it was very overwhelming. The scale is useful as it helped us focus on the kind of support he needed in a practical way.